This clip of the Texas Bucket List is brought to you by Spirit of Texas Bank, Slovacek Sausage, Germania Insurance, We Rent It, and RV Source. Howdy, and welcome to the Texas Bucket List, the show dedicated to everything there is to see, do, and experience right here in the Lone Star State. My name is Shane McAuliffe, and this week we get doused with a history of surfing right here in Texas. You know, most folks don't associate that lifestyle with our way of life here in the Lone Star State, but we wanted to learn more. So we rode the waves down to the sparkling city by the sea and found a treasure trove of Ford history. <laughs> The unceasing song of the Texas surf is a sensational sound. The breaking waves draw you in as the Lone Star State sun shines down. And taming the fairly timid waves has created a culture and history that's well documented in downtown Corpus Christi at the Texas Surf Museum. The Surf Museum was my version of middle age crazy. Brad Lomax <laughs> is the brainchild behind this stockpile of surfboards. And it almost cost me my marriage, uh, like most middle aged crazies. Situated between several restaurants Brad owns, the Texas Surf Museum tells the story of some of the most sincere positive thinkers you'll find in the coastal bend, Texas surfers. I tell people that to be a surfer in Texas, you need to be an optimist with low standards. Considering our state isn't really known for its crashing waves, I mean, not everything can be bigger in Texas. These dedicated dreamers still have created a culture to celebrate the occasional day when the conditions are just right. Last weekend was almost as good as a bad day in California. This is just amazing history. I, I had no idea of the surf culture here around the around Texas and all that. This right here makes you want to go out and grab a board right now. There's a, a, a melting pot of the surfing world that I think is really cool. We love it. Brad started this collection when his good friend and Texas-sized surfing legend Pat McGee closed down his Port Aranges shop back in 2005, 36 years after Pat opened the store at the age of 18. One of the first people that I met in the surfing world was Pat McGee. And, and Pat is really a, a great story of surfing. He's a surfer and he's a businessman and he's a pioneer. Pat over the years had amassed an amazing collection of surf memorabilia. It was stuck under beds and in attics and in storerooms and just a wealth of stuff. So Brad bought it all. It's a cool story how the people who pioneered it got started and stuck with it and made a niche in the surfing world with on the Gulf Coast and in Texas. Built on a backbone of boards, each one of these colorful creations has a connection to the Lone Star State. These boards, you know, they're, they're not just a piece of Texas history, they're a piece of Corpus Christi, Texas and Port Aransas history. And, those guys had a lot to do with getting me and other people kind of in that second wave uh, out in the water. This board was made in the 40s. We're not sure 40s. the exact date. Wow. And it was made from a Popular Mechanics magazine instruction manual. Somebody actually did it. They did it. Having the physical history of Hanging 10 gives the museum a tangible taste of what cruising the Gulf Coast back in the day was like. But for a more colorful account, the ever-changing wall of history has a few more personal stories. This is a living wall where we allow people to come and they bring various photographs, memorabilia, ephemera. From South Texas to the Sabine, all 367 miles of coastline are covered with this chronicle of hodgepodge. One of my favorites is this Blaker. Blaker Surfboard started in Galveston in the early 60s. It's a family operation. Mac Blaker, they made surf movies. You see Si Senor Blaker Film Productions. And so, I mean, this is really a part of Texas history. This is a part of Texas that most people don't understand. You know, we know the ranches, we know the, the cattle drives, we know the big cities, but 
Uh, this is a little tiny museum in a you know small small town that's you know is in and of itself a wonderful place to come visit. This is our history and this is what we've had here for so long for them to have a museum that uh, pays tribute to that. That's, that's fantastic. So don't bail on this opportunity to see some gnarly narratives of Texans who took to the tides and turned up with a totally tubular tale to tell. Come get wet. <laughs> I don't think you're a true Texan unless you realize that there is also a coastline here. You know, and there's great surf. People love this place and there's a lot of connection. People connect th to their past through here. This is important stuff, you know. This is, this is our culture and uh, this, is, this is America. This is what we've made, so you need to come see it. Mm -hmm.